Hi guys, just another quick video. Um, and this video, as you can guess by the title, um, is if you want your ex back. I mean, some people will be down low creeping on this video, like trying to find out how to get their ex back, but swearing in the comments that they don't want their ex back. I mean, who are you trying to convince? Everybody else or yourself? So the thing is, if you want your ex back or if you want to know what you actually want you've got to start with yourself okay and i know if you came on this video looking for some easy shortcut it's not here it's not in this video so and if you're adamant you don't want your ex back click off nobody in the comments wants to see you don't want your ex back everybody who's on this video is wanting their ex back okay so somebody emailed me last night and I said, I'll try and make a video tomorrow. So I'm just getting ready now to go out. So I thought, let me quickly make a video. Um, because it was long on the email and I suppose everybody has this question, like how do I get my ex back? And you probably have seen all these videos on YouTube, like ignore him for 30 days and he's going to come running back, him or her don't mind which sex I say, I mean both, um, ignore him or her, they're going to come running back um, and you're going to live happily ever after. That may work for some because people do not like being ignored. If you ignore them, they're going to try and get attention from you. So that can work for some, but the problems are still going to be there. So where to start? Let's start with yourselves you've got to be happy within and i always try and explain this to love yourself first and it's not about ego okay you know i often explain to people i had a high ego but low self-esteem which is probably bipolar because i'm scorpio and aquarius moon <laughs> so i'm probably bipolar um but it's there's a difference, okay? Ego is a thing that you need to actually get rid of. Um, and we want more self-worth, knowing what we're actually worth, what we're actually willing to accept, and being strong enough to, if somebody isn't fulfilling your boundaries, your needs, um, to cut it out. This is the only way you can get your ex back and keep them back and make it work out, okay, guys? Like... If you're going to accept them back and they know like, oh, she or he waited for me and I came back in and I can beg them back and they'll come straight back. No, this is why I agree with the, you know, stay away for 30 days because people start thinking differently after 30 days. Your ex is going to start missing you after 30 days but and you're going to become more and more anxious to speak to them as well it can happen with anybody you can have a platonic best friend and not see them for 30 days um and you know feel like the craving to see them but after a while if you haven't seen a friend in four four years but then you see each other and you're like ah yeah and you're all happy again and things like that me and my cousin often like argue break up for a few weeks and then come back together like nothing's happened um another story <laughs> but the thing is um you don't want that sort of reconciliation it will also be very short and very bittersweet because like i said nothing's changed so these 30 days are very important to stay away from each other and to detox from each other but it's going to be longer, okay? So if you feel like it's going to be a fix in 30 days or whatever, no, it's going to be longer. Because after the 30 days, let's say he or she does miss you and does come back, when you're both back together, you're going to remember very quickly, hmm, I don't like the way they left the toilet seat up or something. Little things annoy each other when we're together all the time. So you're going to realize those things very quick. Oh, I remember why I didn't take him back or why he didn't come back because he left with another woman and he's left again. 
just an example. Um, so what you want to do is during this time, you want to work on yourself. You want to stay busy. Um, so how can you stay busy? Join a gym if you like, you know, because then just even walking, you know, because then you're going to be getting your endorphins flowing and, you know, it's just going to make you feel a lot happier anyway, getting out in nature. I mean, like people would say to me, go spend time with friends. I'm like, what damn friends? I ain't got no friends, but I didn't have friends for a reason because people are going to drain your energy no matter what. So while you're focused on trying to keep friendships alive or relationships, you're draining yourself if people are not the same to you. If they're not giving anything back to you, you're just going to end up drained and left feeling all alone. And when you're down, where are your friends? These friends that, you know, were so great. They may come for one day and then they're off living their happy life again. So I may do a different video on having no friends as well for some people. But let's get back to the point, how to get your ex back. So work on yourself. And I don't mean that anybody's fat or thin or needs, you know, needs muscle, nothing like that. It's nothing to do with physical appearance, nothing at all. But on one hand, if you do look better, you feel better within yourself here. So if you look better and feel better and that does it for you, that'll start to kickstart raising your vibrations. Go ahead and do it. Dress up, do whatever makes you feel good. So going for walks, getting out in nature, just clearing your head. If you go to text them, just think, no, just think to yourself, okay, I'll text them in 10 minutes. I'm going to do something else. Distract yourself, okay? These are for the first 30 days where, you know, you're feeling like you really want to get to them and things like that. I mean, you can feel like that after a year because we have the different planetary movements trying to drag us back to look at situations and stuff. But yeah, just tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do it after I've done this. Or I'm going to do it after I've done that. But don't really text them. I'm just meaning keep yourself busy. And then once you're, you know, you've kick-started raising your vibration, i.e. walking, you know, anything that makes you happy, um, then what you want to do is look at what's really making you happy. Look at the situation. And I don't mean do... Sorry, the wind. Um, you know, oh, they make me happy because, you know, we used to sit and watch Netflix together. Did it really make you happy in that relationship? Look at things honestly. And somebody asked me, how do you ground yourself? Start by telling yourself the truth. Start by telling yourself the truth. So, you know, when you wanted to go to the ballet, and they never took you the whole time you was together they never took you or you would constantly be going to work coming home doing things for them and they still never respected that you was there and they still had the audacity to run off with somebody else just an example guys <laughs> just an example so yeah if that's the case, remind yourself of these things so that you want to build up, you know, this little bit of strength for each day like, well, actually, that wasn't great. So what do I want? Start writing goals for yourself. We want to shift our energy to focus on the positive. And I've mentioned this in a previous video about the minute desires born. So I would like a relationship with my ex and this is what I'd want from it. I want them to be attentive. I want them to be loving. I want them to put the washing out. Whatever it is for you, it's going to be different for everybody, obviously. So in that moment, the desire is born. Okay. So you're setting an intention with your higher self. So then what we do is we follow through with it. So usually when people set desires and intentions and goals, they don't follow through with it. It really has to take action. So how would you want them to be? You want them to be happy within themselves, loving within themselves, caring about themselves enough to not lie and not cheat to the people they love. 
So yeah, you want them to have that self-respect and self-love. So it starts with you. What you want from the world, you put out. So if you are, you know, maybe allowing people to cross your boundaries, that's a lack of self-respect and self-worth. So you're going to work on these things. Um, so we're going to work on little things. Maybe it's somebody in the corner shop and you don't know them. They just, every day they're rude to you or something. And, you know, you just say, excuse me, very politely. Um, I find that disrespectful. I'm not disrespecting you, but I find that disrespectful. Can you not do that? Thank you. And, you know, people are going to test you because you've been quite a walkover in the past or something. Um, so, you know, start with little things like that and, you know, build up your confidence and your self-respect and do it with family, friends, everybody, so that everybody knows to respect your boundaries and what you're willing to accept or not. People may try and say to you, you've changed, like it's something negative. It's not negative to change. It's okay to change. Everybody grows. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're here to do. So yeah, I hope people change and I hope people grow. The world would be a better place. So yeah, you know, you'll know you're on the right track if people start saying you've changed or whatever. Let people say whatever they want to say. They're they're going to do it anyway. You know what I mean? So yeah, so we want to work on our self-respect and boundaries with everybody around us. So, you know, this is what I mean about it's a long way off your ex. But if you want to do it where you'll stay together, you know, you've got to do it right. OK, so. We're working on self-respect and self-love. Um, some people do mirror gazing. So, you know, you can look at yourself in the mirror and thank yourself you know, like you've been through a lot with this body. You've been through a lot with this soul. Thank you for always getting me through this and, you know, keep it moving like that. You know, like tell your story different. Not I've, oh, this happened to me. That happened to me. That happened to me. I've overcome this. You know, I've achieved this. Words become flesh. Trust me. Speak positive things into existence okay you know the more you speak on it it becomes habit habit becomes you know like a practical thing in your life it's something you're doing every day so if you speak on it every day it will manifest i'm telling you words become flesh like I, jesus said it <laughs> you know um that's for anybody else who whichever way you want to look at it science religion spiritualism it's all there. It's always there. Words become flesh. Okay. Words become habit. So it will manifest. And you've got to have this belief and this self knowing. And you've got to change your whole vocabulary to be like, I can. I'm going to do this. I'm improving. I'm happy. I'm healthy. And you may feel like, oh, I'm not doing affirmations or whatever. No, you're telling yourself the truth. I've overcome so much things. You've overcome every single part of your worst day so far. You're here watching this right now. So you've overcome those. You've achieved that. It's not a lie. You don't have to fake it till you make it. You don't have to do none of that. It's the truth. You've overcome every worst day you've ever had in your life. And you're still here. You've overcome it. You've achieved it. You can be proud of yourself. You can love yourself. And it's not a negative thing to love yourself. And we're always taught it's selfish to, you know, not share. So people want to share our energy. Sorry, I'm a bit uncomfortable here. <laughs> people want to share our energy. Of course they do. Um, it's like, we're taught from so young, share your toys with your brother and your sister. Um, or it's selfish. It's not selfish to look after yourself and what you want for yourself. It's not selfish, no. 
it's what you actually need. It's what you need now. You need to look after you. It's that simple. You need to put you first. You know, when everybody else, you're trying to fix things for everybody else and you're so drained that you have nothing left to do and you just feel tired, you feel lonely, you feel sad. Where is everybody else? Where's their energy going? Sorry, uncomfortable. <laughs> Where is their energy going? Because they're not giving it to you or you wouldn't be feeling tired and sad. Just ask yourself this, ground yourself, tell yourself the truth. So we ground ourselves by telling ourselves the truth. We can get out in nature. If you don't meditate yet, you can just go sit on some grass by a stream of water and just sit there in the quiet. Then you can build up to like meditating and everything. It doesn't have to be like all at once and, oh, I need books to do this or anything. No. It's all within you. Everything you're looking for is within you. The knowledge is within you. Okay? So, once we've worked through this, getting back on track with ourselves and focusing on ourselves and making ourselves happy, what I want you to do is change eating habits. Why? Just to feel healthier. Give your body some proper energy that goes into you you know like if you're just running around getting takeaways every day and you're like i'm feeling tired and this not your body you would look after your car better right you would put the right fuel in your car go ahead put the right fuel in your body just for a few days you could even try spiritual fasting or intermittent fasting you know it's not it's not to lose weight or anything like that everybody's perfect the way they are you know, if you want to improve yourself, that's fine. So I'm all about improving ourselves. But don't think that you need to improve your looks for somebody else. Forget them. Forget everybody. How you look is nothing to do with it. If your relationship can't withstand you telling them your feelings or your problems, you know, friendships, relationships, family ships. If you can't tell these people your problems or your feelings, they're not stable relationships. So you need to bring that stability within you and get that positive energy within you. So this is why I'm saying you don't really need friends around you when you're in this low vibration. What you need is to focus on yourself. What friends do is they distract you. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm saying they will distract you and pull your energy away from you. Everything is designed to pull your energy away from you when you're trying to absorb it back in. Even kids. I've got children myself. Showed you my granddaughter yesterday. Um, they will all pull the energy from you. So you've got to understand that you need to refill your own cup of love for yourself first. You need to refill your own energy before you can give to anybody. So while your energy is low, you may find you're not attracting anybody in towards you. So refilling your energy will attract everybody, i.e. the ex. Okay? So until, you know, you are how maybe you first met them, you was fun, flirty, whatever, you know, giggly. And now at the end, you're crying and thinking, and they're like, well, I don't want that. And the thing is, guys will immediately go out first or the person with the most power in the relationship, meaning the person who's left and the other person wants them back. Um, they will generally feel first this sense of freedom and want to go out there and look. The thing is, if somebody else, if somebody wants to look around, by the time you finish putting this love into yourself, you will ask yourself, do I want somebody who, you know, don't, doesn't see my value? Well, your value looks drained to them, to their untrained eye. Your value looks drained because your energy is depleted from giving so much to everybody else. So 
everybody will want a piece of you because you refilled your energy. We're drawn by energy. It's just that simple. Um, you can go on other dates and things like that. Sure. Um, but I feel like it still depletes your energy. I would personally abstain from sex um, because that's the most powerful energy. Sexual energy can create a human being. This is the most powerful energy that you will give away to maybe somebody randomly because you're feeling a bit low and they took a little bit of notice of you. So I would abstain from sex um, just so that you're not giving the little energy you have at the moment away to build your energy up quicker. You know, as soon as you're not giving it away, everybody's chasing you. Um, so what's next? Um, now you can see why, why I don't edit my videos because I feel like they should be honest, not fancy and edit it. I feel like they should be honest. So, you know, once you've refilled your own energy and then your ex is attracted back to you, then what? Um, then have they changed or have they come just to drain your full cup again? Yes, everybody can see your cup's full, but will you even want them? You'll be able to turn around and say, until you get right, I just don't even want you anywhere near me because I don't want to be ever drained like that again by anybody. I respect myself enough to know I'm studying my power. I'm happy to communicate with you and talk with you and, you know, um, but I need to know in this communication that you're working on yourself. I mean, if you're communicating to ask me for a buoy call, you don't need to communicate that because you ain't getting it. Like, this is the fountain of youth that you try to dip in. <laughs> Oh my God, now I wish I had an editor again. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> oh my God. Why did I say that? Anyway. Yeah, so by this time, your ex will be absolutely begging for you to be back with them. Because they'll see. The grass is not greener. You just need to water your own grass. The grass is not greener over there. So they'll want to come back anyway, because they know how good they had it with you. But now you respect yourself and you love yourself. You are happy within yourself. Your confidence and is not ego anymore. It's just self-respect and self-worth, self-love here. So when they come back, um, you know, you may not even want them back, but if you're still open to having them back, what you say then is, you know, I'm happy to dialogue, you know, open a dialogue with you, but you need to be working on yourself. It doesn't mean, aha, yeah, it worked, let them back. No, don't let them walk straight over the boundaries without doing their work, without refilling their energy within themselves, because then they'll just come drain your cup again. So, but at this point, you'll already be strong enough and happy enough. Um, to want to, um, you know, reject anybody. I mean, even if David Beckham or Prince Harry walked in, I'm British. Um, yeah, walked in and was like, hey, you'd be like, no, no, thank you. Um, so I don't know, David Beckham's a bit fit. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Um, but yeah, you'd just be like, no, I'm not interested in anybody until they're right. And what you will attract in then is higher vibration people. Okay, so you want your ex back. Don't be saying, I don't want my ex back because we are co-creators. We are co-creating. Words are flesh. Words become habit. They become physical actions. So if you're saying, I don't want my ex back. 
you're confusing the universe. Don't speak in those negative terms. Something you can do the minute you stop watching this video is stop using negative words. This happened to me. No, I've overcome. I can. I can. My ex won't come back. My ex is coming back, but will I take them back? Change your words. Okay? That's the easiest thing you can do today. Change your words. Now, if you've been changing your words and you've seen other videos, but you've been sat at home and watching Netflix and you're still quite sad and lonely inside, go outside. Do it. Go outside. Go for a walk. Anywhere. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. Anywhere. Just go. I'm telling you, getting the blood circulation going, all the endorphins going, will change your state of mind and your state of being immediately. So, like I said, I just wanted to do this quick video for somebody who emailed me last night, but if anybody else watched it, I hope you get some answers or, you know, you get that push to be on the right track. Like, yeah, no, I need to look after me first. There's no quick fix to getting your ex back. Just get up and go. Work on yourself. I'm telling you, everybody will want you. It's that simple. Everybody you pass in the street will be after you because they can feel your energy. Stop giving it away to other people. It doesn't matter who they are, friends, family, kids. At some point, you've got to say, stop. My cup's empty right now. I need to refill it for me. It's just got to be that way. You can argue with me and take the long way around. You may feel like you've been through this how many times before because you're not changing. We'll all go through something or overcome something in our life. The thing is, when you're feeling down, did you get the message? Did you get the message from the universe that you can change this? It's not selfish to look after yourself or want things. You know, instead of we've been taught money is evil, money is the root of evil, and that's not even the correct saying. But it's something that's been put in the media and generalised, so words become habit. So if you're poor and you can't get your money right, it's because we're using certain words. And we pick this up from people in the supermarket. We pick this up as children. I can't afford that. Your, you mom, your mum when you're little may say, I can't afford that. Um, you can't have it. So this is what you've been accustomed to. It's about understanding you can have anything you want in this world. You're co-creating. This is your world. This is your time. So are you going to change it this time? Are you really, you know, you could... Are you somebody who will write down your ideas, your goals, but never follow through with them? Are you going to follow through this time? Or does the universe have to keep trying to wake you up and keep sending in these tower moments? Are you going to wake up and say, I overcome all this. I'm strong. I just heard the song, I am giant. I don't even know that song, but I've heard it passing, people passing, I am giant or something. I'll try and find the lyrics or something because I don't know where it goes in this video but okay good luck guys